what would Jesus do? And Jesus would look up to the Father and say, God, I know that you hear my prayers. I know that you're taking care of me. And you see, I know that he sent the comforter. And that comforter dwells inside here to take care of me. Bobby girl singing for the glory of the Lord. know about tomorrow, but I know who holds my hand. I don't know about the future, but I know who stands by me. Church, when you know that you know, you can handle anything that comes your way. When you know that you're, either way you win, if you die down here, you win, because your soul immediately goes to be with Jesus. If you're raptured out with all the rest of the saints of God, you win because your soul goes to be with Jesus. It doesn't make any difference how we leave this earth. We know where we're going. 
And you see, that takes, uh, that takes care of all fear, all doubt, all unbelief, because we win either way. And if you get your eyes on Jesus, you won't have your eyes on the cares of the world. And, you know, we still got people today that claim to be children of God, but yet they're, they're sold out to flesh. They're sold out to the cares of the world. They still want to be like the world. But you've got to come out from the world and be a separate people. You've got to let people know your witness should be, hey, look at me. I'm not doing the same things I used to do. I'm not doing the things that the world does. I'm not saying the thing that the world says. Praise God, I've changed. The old man has died out, and I've become a new creature in Christ. If you have your Bibles today, turn with me over to the book of 2 Samuel. 2 Samuel chapter 22, verse 32 is where I want to begin. 2 Samuel twenty two thirty two. And the thing that we have to do is we have to, we have to believe in God. We have to know that the world today, have you been watching television? Everything that has to do with Christianity has been smeared into the ground. Everything that has to do with Christ has been taken out. And I want to tell all the television people once again, I'll have it put together pretty soon. But I've got about 15 or 20 pages of Scripture and verses that the NIV and the New Revised Edition, the World Edition, I can't think of the names of all these Bibles, but have taken out from the gospel of Jesus Christ. The King James Version is the only translated version. And there's been 64,575 words omitted, taken out of the King James Version. When they wrote the, the NIV, they took it out. They didn't write it. They didn't put it in there. But yet it's found in the King James Version. You say, well, how can you do that? It's one-eighth of the Bible has, is missing from some of these Bibles. And I, anyway, I'm going to have the pages printed off, and I'm going to have them pretty soon, and uh, I'll tell you how you can get them. Verse 32, For who is God? Save the Lord. Who is a rock? Save our God. And if you want to know what save means, accept. For who is God except the Lord? And who is a rock except our God? Turn the page with me or go to the next verse. God is my strength. Church, when you get to the point that you believe that, then you, you can stand upon God's word. God is my strength and power. God is my strength and power. I've seen people in this world come against this church. I've seen people come against this ministry. I've seen families come against me. I've seen men come against me. I've seen strong and bold come against me, and I've seen God bring every one of them down. It's not me, hallelujah, that had come in against this God Jehovah because I didn't establish anything. God Jehovah established it, and I stand on the Word of God, and I'll call out the Word of God, and I'll proclaim the Word of God until I don't have any breath left. Why? Because I know that I know that I know that I didn't choose this profession. I didn't go out to try to make a fortune preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. I didn't have anything to do with it. God called me. And I've seen them come. I've seen them go. I've seen them come and come and come and try to put down God's word. And I've seen God take every one of them out. I don't care about man because God told me years ago, it doesn't matter what man says. It doesn't matter what man thinks. It's what I know, saith the Lord. And as long as God knows, He is my strength. He is my power. Church, He is my power. Listen to what the Word says. God is my strength and power. And He maketh my way perfect. Now, does it say He makes me perfect? No, I'm not perfect because I'm still in the flesh. But He maketh my way perfect which means as long as I'm listening to him, Brother Robert, I'm going to walk down that straight and narrow way. He's going to make my way perfect as long as I keep my eyes on Calvary, as long as I keep my eyes on Jesus as I walk. I'm going to walk down a pathway that is perfect, praise God. As long as I'm staying on my pathway and I've got my eyes focused on Jesus, I don't have to worry about what's going on the left. I don't have to worry about what's going on the right because I know that I know that I know that God, he 
He's taking care of the left. He's taking care of the right. He's pouring out his spirit upon me. And as long as I go in his will and as long as I stay in his word and walk that straight and narrow way, he's going to make my way perfect, which means 